Zephaniah 1, verse 10, and it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day, saith Yahweh, that, that, there shall be a, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate, and a howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. Brakthi Yahweh, Brakthi Yahweh Shai. Brakthi Yahweh, Brakthi Yahweh Shai. Brakthi Yahweh, Brakthi Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone who teach one rule well. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect. Pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwath listening, sincerely listening. Shalom. Your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp. Here with another lesson. And uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, title this lesson The Incoming Economic Collapse. Right? But it's based on this uh, article here. It came out on Zero Hedge, uh, December 7th, 2021, the year of looking for and hastening the coming of our Lord. And you see the title here Mainstream Economic Salak. Mainstream, mainstream economists are struggling to hide the incoming economic collapse. Right? And this is what Esau does, man. You know? And how does Esau hide things? Deception. Lies, bread and circus, enchantments, you know, distractions, man. This is how Esau hides things. But um, the writing is on the wall. Esau is becoming sloppier and sloppier. And things are becoming more and more difficult for Esau to hide what is lies. Okay? But this uh, article is um, going into uh, economists, right? And their take on things, right? Let's read that scripture again. Zephaniah 1, verse 10, and it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day, saith Yahweh, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate. Right? A noise. There shall be a noise of a cry. A noise of a cry from the fish gate. The fish gate is the markets. In the ancient world, the fish gate was a fish market. You know, where, 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 where merch was traded, where trading, buying and selling went on. Right? This is symbolic of the markets crashing, man. And what are these markets? The stock market. Primarily the stock market. The, 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 the American economic system is based on the stock market. The, 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 the Dow Jones, the Standard & Poor, right? That's the market. The New York Stock Exchange, right? And the howling, howling, what does it mean to howl? <laughs> Lament, cry. Bewail, more, more, a great howling, right? And a howling from the second and a great crashing from the hills, right? This is the crashing of the markets. Verse 11, how ye inhabitants of Maktesh, Maktesh was an ancient uh, city of uh, merch, merchant trade, right? Trading and, mer and, and, and merchants, right? For all the merchant people are cut down. All they that bear silver are cut off, right? That goes into the bankers, man. Right? Crypto gonna crash, Bitcoin gonna crash, the fiat currency gonna crash. Right? All by design. Esau Edom wants to bring in his, his, his MOTB, his Revelation 13, verse 16. But these things gotta take place. And this is gonna become a, a, a common picture in Babylon, America the Great. This right here, 10 cities, man. This is what's coming. Let's get another scripture. Second Ezra 8 verse 50. Many great miseries. Second Ezra 8 verse 50. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Many great miseries are coming. Second Ezra 8 verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time, the latter time, we're in that time, these are the latter times, shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Right? Proudful, prideful, America the Great. Many great miseries is coming to Babylon the Great Man. Ten city, ten cities is going to be a regular thing. But in this article, I wanted to touch something that stood out. I'm not going to read the whole article. I marked it. Right, because Esau wants to bring in his, 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 his MOTB, his device. Right? Right here.
Right. Right here. Some of the key policies within the literature, literature, literature is, you know, their, 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 their books, right? Their, their, their playbook. Some of the key places within the literature for the Great Reset and what the World Economic Forum calls the Fourth Industrial Revolution, we hear those words being thrown around, includes universal basic income, UBI, the sharing economy, and eventually, here's a point, a global digital currency system, right? And this global digital currency system that Esau wants to roll out is going to entail the MOTB, the Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. The Karagma. Essentially, it would be a form of global technocratic communism. And if you enjoy individual freedom being forced into total reliance on the government for your every for your very survival, does not sound appealing. To obtain such a system would require a cat a cat a cat a, cat, a, cat, a, cat, a catastrophe catastrophe salak a catastrophe of epic proportions the juice emic gets the globalist part of the way there right these globalists and who are these globalists these 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 banking families man these international bankers man isa edom idumia these ruling class elites they are the globalists so all that's going on right now that the, the whole the whole juice in tandem with this propped up artificially propped up economy right is partially getting these elites where it is they want to go their device right but it's obviously not enough the juice has not convinced many hundreds of millions of people around the world to give up their freedoms for the sake of security right and um, you know you know what's going to get the the the, the fence sitters more draconian rule more draconian laws and more pestilence man Right, listen, if hazmat suits were out here and people were lying down in, 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 in Walgreens parking lots, Walmart parking lots, in tents, trust me, enough people out here would be singing a different tune, man. Right? That would be a, 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 a catastrophe right there, man. Right? And these elites know this. And the elect know this. The hopeful elect, Lord willing, we're of that number. Right, but maybe a stagflationary collapse will accomplish what the Jews has not. Let's look into this word stagflationary. Right here, stagflation. Stagflation is characterized by slow economic growth and relatively high unemployment, or economic stagnation, which is at the same time accompanied by rising prices, which is inflation. Stagflation can be alternatively defined as a period of inflation combined with a decline in the gross domestic product, the GDP. Right, and these elites. This is all. This is all part of their playbook, man. Right. Accelerated price hi price spikes and in necessities, including housing and food, will generate mass poverty and homelessness. Right, we see that. We see that uh, uh, taking hold right now, man. You know, price hikes. Yo, the heat your home has gone up. Electricity has gone up. Fuel has gone up. Food has gone up. Right, and these are necessities, man. Food, heat. We up here, we up here in the north, man. <laughs> and you hear these elites throwing around that word "dark winter." Right. Let's get another scripture. Isaiah twenty-four, verse ten, and it reads. The city of confusion is broken down. The city of confusion, America, Babylon, broken down, right? Piece by piece, we see it. A little here, a little there. Gradualism, right? Every house is shut up that no man may come in, right? No freedom of movement, right? What does the scripture say? A man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able. Roughly paraphrasing, 2nd Ezra chapter 15, right? These are the times we're entering into, man. So more draconian rules are going to come out. More lockdowns are going to come out. Uh, 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 um, spot. What is it? Spot checks. Military spot checks. Checkpoints. Select. Checkpoints are going going to be set up, right? 
right? Every house is shut up that no man may come in, right? No freedom of movement, man. Right? And we see that with the supply chain. Things ain't coming in. Things ain't going out. Supply chain is shot right now, man. And, and people think everything's in, 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 in good standing right now. Many great evils, many great miseries is, 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 is growing as we speak. Verse 11. There's a crying for wine in the streets. Crying for wine. People want answers. People don't know what's going on. Two-thirds of people out here don't know what's going on. Two-thirds are still mirthing it up. TikToking it. Social media challenges. Trying to party with masks on. That's what two-thirds of our people are doing right now, man. In the house of mirth. Meanwhile, 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 destruction is coming. There's a crying for wine in the streets. Right? People want answers. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Right? The, 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 isn't this the holiday spirit? Quote, unquote. People are in despair right now. People are genuinely mad that their holiday is being ruined. Right? Let's read this article. Accelerated price hikes, price spikes in necessities, including housing and food, will generate mass poverty and homelessness. There's no change. So like, there's no chance that wages will keep up with costs. The government might step in with more stimulus to help major corporations and businesses increase wages. But this would basically be the beginning of a universal basic income, UBI, or free money for everyone. And would only cause more dollar devaluation and more inflation. And more inflation, and more inflation. They could try to freeze prices as many communist regimes have, the, have in the past, but this only leads to increased manufacturing shutdowns because the costs of production are too high and the profit incentives too low. I suspect that the establishment will bring back regular checks, like the juice checks, for the public now struggling to deal with ever increasing expenses and uncertainty. Right, stimulus. Piece of just came to mind. Isaiah 36, verse 6, and it reads, Lo, meaning look, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed, right? Trusting in America the Great, Babylon the Great, on Egypt, right? Spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom, America. Trusting in America. Whereon if a man lean, right, if you lean, if you trust in it, trust in what? It's benefits, it's stimulus, it's, it's handouts. Whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. Right, ultimately, Esau, this is leading into the MOTB, the Revelation 13, verse 16 on down. Ultimately, those eyes to see will see it. So is Pharaoh, the rulership, right? Symbolic of the rulership. King of Egypt, America the Great, Babylon the Great. To all that trust in him, right? So you can't trust this diabolical madman. That's in the scriptures, man. Right? Don't expect a UBI check, for example, if you refuse to comply with the mandates. If you run a business, don't expect stimulus aid if you hire non-compliant workers. UBI gives the government ultimate control over everything and a stagflationary crisis gives them the perfect opportunity to introduce permanent UBI. Right, control, man. Control, that's what it all boils down to. Control. They want to be as the most high. Right, and these elites, these banking families, this is, this is straight from their playbook, man. This is straight out of their playbook. Second Ezra 15 Right? Second Ezra 15. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Right? More lockdowns are coming. More checkpoints are coming. On a, on a grander scale. You think the last one was something? Right? Aren't these elites running around this with this mantra, this term, dark winter? You think the last one was something? Verse 18. For because of their pride... Right? Who's more proud than America the Great? Who's more proud than the populace? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Right? That vibration of fear is out here. And is fear going to make a lot comply? 
but the elect ain't scared. Lord willing, we have that number, the hopeful elect. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability in that times. Isaiah 33, verse 6, roughly paraphrasing. The elect will be stable, stable-minded. Because we got the cheat code. The scriptures are the cheat code, man. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. A man's not going to have pity on his neighbor out here, man. But shall destroy their houses with the sword, right? They're going to arm up, kick off your door, and take your, th take your things. Why? And spoil their goods, meaning take their goods, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Lack of bread and great tribulation. You think you be going to save you in those times? Because there's going to be, you know, there's patriots out here. They're going to be like, I ain't taking that. I ain't taking that. I ain't taking that. I ain't taking no MOTB. There's, there's going to be, there's going to be resistance. You think, you think UBI, you think MOTB going to save you in that day? You think that going to stop purge-minded Babylonians from kicking off your door and taking your shit? A time like no other. These are the times that are coming. You know what I mean? But things gotta take. Everything gotta take place. A little here. Everything gotta take place in the in Utah. Elder Apostle Tar came out with a video a couple of days ago. You know, Pro oh, oh, one prophecy will fulfill and another one will uh, fulfill shortly after. It has its order. Let's close out with the scripture right here. All right, Second Ezra four verse thirty seven, and it reads, "By measure hath he measured the times, and by number hath he numbered the times." The Most High. Right? And he doth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. Right? So each prophecy has got to fulfill before the next one takes place. Right? And we're in those times right now, man, where things, all hell's about to break loose. Things are going to collapse. Mass starvation, mass death. Sadish women boiling their children. Cannibalism coming back in a big way. Martial law coming back. Tent cities everywhere. These are the times that are coming. Right? The times of prophecy. Prophecies are fulfilling, man. Ultimately leading to the MOTB. And then the missiles, man. Right? But this uh this this uh fiat currency thing that's falsely propped up, propped up, it's collapsing, man. Right? Those with eyes to see will see. Stay prayed up. Pray it all ceasing. Kwame Asharala, wa abad babal.